guess whose birthday it is today, depending on what time zone you're in, and if it happens to be the 17th of February. That's right, it's Ed Sheeran and Michael Jordan. But also me, it's, it's my birthday. Wow. Whoop, whoop. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to... Wait, what? Moteno Manatee? Marco Polo? Mato Potato? Mato Potato? I didn't sign up for this. What's he got? 52 subscribers? Well, I think he's pretty neat. <sighs> let's get out of here. Well, at least that guy's still here. Happy birthday to you. Hey, can I get paid now? Thanks. Okay, bye. So I have officially been living on this planet Earth for 15 years. So I have a mouth now, and hey, yeah, I see you. Type in that comment. It's my birthday, so I'm allowed to change my style, okay? So yeah, it's my birthday, and at the time of recording this, I have 54 subscribers. Oh, to 100 subscribers. Oh, Cheer. Yeah. I am just so thankful. <laughs> That 54 people took time out of their full day and busy lives <laughs> to press a button. Also, if you aren't subscribed, then you should probably do that and tap the notifications bell. Okay, so while I still have 54 subscribers, I'm just going to be as cringy as possible because it's now or never. How about never? Shut up. Okay, so it's my birthday, so it's an appropriate day to uh, explain why I decided to do animation, I guess. I mean, it's like, it's gonna come up eventually. So, uh, let's just answer it now, and if you ever ask it in the future, then, um... I won't answer it because there's a video about it now. Oh, congratulations, yeah. Okay, so ever since I can remember, I've loved to draw. And I know a lot of YouTuber animators say that, but it, it's true. I'm pretty sure, as long as I rem can remember. I love to draw uh, as soon as I could like get a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen or anything with crayons. I don't know. But I just, I've loved to draw. And like, all of my life, my parents and ever and people around me have said, "Oh wow, you're such a great drawer. You should like be an artist and stuff." I'm like, "Yeah, thanks." And but I never really gave it a second thought. When I was little, I actually wanted to be a scientist. But then when I got to high school, I discovered the amazing fact that I, I suck at science. So that never happened, and that dream died. Um, but at the start of 2017, I made a YouTube channel because I, I wanted to make people laugh and entertain people but I probably just did it because I felt, felt like it was, yeah that's probably why so I did that for ages and I got really sick of it I got re I got bullied a lot because of it and it sucked and I really wasn't enjoying it because I f it felt fake and it just it wasn't working so I made I was questioning whether I should delete it or not and I decided to delete it eventually but uh, go back a couple of years and I used to watch Domix videos and I really liked them but again I never really gave it a second thought of like that that could be a thing that I could do with my drawing because like I didn't think I was that good I didn't think that I was talented enough to be like him but and I kind of just forgot about it and stopped watching Domix but like at the end of 2017 Probably like, uh, I don't know, like, October I think it was, uh, I discovered a YouTuber called The Odd Ones Out, and I watched all of his videos within the first week, uh, it was pretty great, I pretty much blocked out the entire world, forgot about everything, and just, and just watched The Odd Ones Out, and it was great. And I showed my friend, and he has what been watching it, him this whole time, and hasn't even showed me, and I was I felt betrayed. Uh, but eventually, I discovered a whole bunch, a whole community of them, and I was just like, why haven't I heard of these guys sooner? And I was really upset at myself that I've been watching PewDiePie all these years instead of these guys. These guys are way better, and like inspirational, and actually made me like feel good. 
So it was at this point that I decided that I this is what I wanted to do. Uh, I think I mentioned that all my life, like my parents had been telling me that I was a great drawer, and everyone around me had been like, "What are you going to do when you grow up?" They expected something like artist, and and I and again I'd never really given it a second thought. But now that I had watched these guys, I was like, "Wow!" Like anyone could be an animator. And that sounds like an insult, but it's not. It's like, it's the biggest compliment ever. Because animators, what I like about animators a lot is that they all stick out for each other. And they all, like, support each other. And that's why, like, I felt really inspired by that. That they weren't competing with each other. They were actually helping each other. And it just made me feel happy that people do that. And I decided that I was gonna make a YouTube channel for animation uh, but I wasn't planning on actually like staying on the channel I was just gonna do it temporarily until I got another idea for a channel but then I ended up making a few videos and they were cringe but and they still are I mean look and just this boy look at what you're watching and this is like the f only improvisation video other than the art drawing thingy that I did that saying I was leaving uh, but I don't think I, no I haven't done any other improv on my channel other than this and that so I wasn't actually gonna keep my channel but then I ended up getting support really supportive comments and like I wasn't expecting to because I didn't have any very many subscribers and I still don't and like it motivated me to keep going and I'm still going I mean it's I'm it's not one of those stories where it's like this is how I got famous because I'm not famous and I've got less than a hundred but I still very feel happy with the ones I got because I get a lot of support from them in the comment section and it's pretty it's pretty great it feels good to get support yeah um especially from people that you don't know like I know that sounds weird uh, but when you get support from people that you don't know it means it's genuine because like when your family gives you support you're like you don't really know if they're like saying being genuine because they're like they're your family they have to do that but when someone else gives you support someone who doesn't have to say anything but that yet they do that that just makes everything that just makes you feel good on the inside and it motivates you to keep going and it's just I felt really good and I've decided that I'm gonna keep my channel and not make another one but yeah I hope this has been an okay video uh, well yeah it's been really fun so far and I hope that I can keep doing YouTube for years to come uh, so I just want to say thanks to all the YouTube animators who were in this video you should check out all the individual channels and subscribe to them because they all deserve it more than I do but like yeah, you should subscribe to me as well because because you have to and and I told you to so just you do that uh, and I will uh, see you next time thanks for watching take care and stay nifty and bye